Hi, my name is Peter Waterfield, um, and I'm a synchronised diver and an individual diver, um, an Olympic silver medalist on the 10-metre platform. What got you into diving? What was the appeal? Um, as a nine-year-old, um, I was quite a hyperactive kid, um, and I lived in the East End of London, so um, my dad introduced me to lots of different sports uh, to basically keep me off the street and to, to get rid of some of my energy. So, um, so yeah, I was doing lots of sports like football, karate, kickboxing, um, and I started to go fishing with my friends and things like that, being near water. Um, and my dad obviously wanted me to be able to swim in case I fell in. So went down the local swimming pools um, in Wolfram Forest um, and then learned how to swim. Was watching, well, was swimming up and down, watching the divers up the other end and thought it looked a bit more exciting. So I, I asked my dad if I could have a go at it. Um, yeah, and the rest is history. What motivates you to be, want, want to be a world class athlete? Um, I think ever when I started diving and I started to win competitions, um, you know, and I realised I was good at the sport. That's that's what made me really want to, you know, you know, pursue it and, and take it further and, and be the best that I ever could. And that's what keeps you motivated. Yeah, of course. And I still, to, still to this day, want to be the best that I can at, um, at what I do. You know, I, I say to myself, if you're going to do something, try to be the best at it. And, you know, sometimes you, you will become the best at it, sometimes you won't, but it's, it's that, that mentality of at least um, working hard and trying to get there. What can you tell us about your training regime? What do you put yourself through to be the best? Uh, six hours a day, um, five to six days a week. It depends on uh, where the competitions are and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, so six, six hours a day, 50% uh, of our stuff is done outside of the pool. Um, so we're in the gym doing trampolining, lots of conditioning, um, like strength and conditioning, which is exercises designed for, specifically for our sport. Um, and, and then, yeah, in, in the pool, we do a lot of flexibility as, uh, as well, so, and lots of technical work, um, doing some sorts onto mats and things like that. So, so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty intense training. And it, you know, we, we hit the water at 40 miles an hour as well, so we need to um, teach our body to take that sort of impact as well. So that's why we have to train so long, so that we can, we can take that, that sort of handle. And what do you find most challenging of your training? Um, you know, it's, it's like anyone. You wake up and sometimes you, it's, it's hard to, you know, you, you can't be asked to go to work today or, or and things like that. And, and, you know, really having to dig deep sometimes to, to, to get through that. But everybody gets it. Um, so, so, yeah, the, the, the hard part is, is that. But, you know, when I get in the pool, the good thing is for me is when I get in the pool, I know I'm going to have um, a lot of fun in the day. So even though I might be tired in the morning, I know by the end of the day I'd have had loads of fun. and. Um, and yeah, I'll come out with a smile on my face. What's it like competing against your teammates in the solo dive um, disciplines and then obviously competing with them in the synchronised dive? Yeah, I mean, I've been doing it for a few years now, so um, I'm kind of used to it. But, but, you know, when you're competing with them in the synchronised event, you want to do the best that you can for them as well as yourself. And, and you know, that, that's what makes a team. When, when you're together, you, you're a team. Um, when, when you then go and compete against each other, you're, you're arch enemies. So, so it, it does kind of work like that. But, but you know, when, when we're together, you know, we try and bounce off of each other and we try and work together to get the best performance out of, out of each other. Um, but yeah, when, when, when we're on our own, it's no old bars. So. <laughs> what would you describe as the highlight of your career? Um, I've had a few, to be honest. Um, I've done three Olympic Games, so they'll, they'll be um, the highlights. Um, I've, I've won the Commonwealth Games in Manchester, then got silver in Melbourne. Um, but I, I think the, 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 the biggest one is the silver medal at the Olympic Games in 2004 in Athens. That's the, 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 the highlight. I mean, we hear a lot of people say it's not about the winning, it's about taking part. But when you get to your level, is no, it all about the winning? Yes, of course. Yeah. I mean, when, when I'm going there just to take part um, is when I want to quit, I think. Um, you know, once I know that I'm not going to be able to win medals, then for me, I'm not going to I'm not going to just go there to make up the numbers. I want to I want to be winning and getting getting as many medals as I can. And every competition I go into, I want to win. Um, and when I lose that or, or, or can't do that anymore, um, will be the time to call it a day. Um, and what about the medals? Do they get better and better, or is the first medal still the best? 
No, 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 they still get better and better. I think I'm, I'm older now, so I don't, I don't take it all as, as much for granted. You know, I was just away at the weekend for the World Series and got two bronze medals there. And, and yeah, they're, they're the top eight in the world that get invited to this event. So, and you know, yeah, the, the, the feeling of getting, getting medals is still, is still major, and that's, that's why I'm still here. So. Olympics 2012, London, you're a Londoner. Yeah. How does that feel? Yeah, brilliant. Um, I can't wait. The, the, the main thing is, like I said, I've done three Olympic Games. This will be my fourth. But, but um, also, to, to have a home crowd behind you is, is going to be amazing. I mean, I was lucky enough to compete in, in Manchester Commonwealth Games where I won, and, and having that home support is what helped me win. Um, so, so, yeah, to have, to have London and, and the rest of the country behind us is going to be amazing. There's a lot of talk of the legacy. What would you like the London Olympics to be remembered for? Um, I, I, one of the best Olympic Games that's ever been held, and, and also Team GB's best um, best medal uh, tally. You know, um, I, I hope that we can all bring back as many medals as well. Say, bring back, uh, get as many medals as we can on our home soil, and, and, and yeah, it be remembered for, for the results. And finally, do you have a favourite Olympic moment? So, not a moment that's yours. A moment that you remember as a child, or um, a favourite Olympic moment. <laughs> um, it's a hard one, actually. I mean, I grew up watching Seb Coe and Steve Ovet. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I think Daley Thompson when we used to watch him and stuff like that was was good. Yeah, but I mean, there's been so many over the years. It's, it's hard to it's hard to say, but um, but yeah, they're, they're, I think watching watching him was, was good. Brilliant. Thanks for your time and good luck. No problem. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks very much. much. <laughs> Easy. There you go. Job done. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. Wink bolt.